go to the first link that i have given you in description it will lead you to this page right here it is the page for the ps3 emulator I just press and download here and then scroll down here okay under the windows option just press and download right here i have already downloaded this emulator file so i'm just gonna cancel it you just have to download it first okay after you have downloaded this file now just go to the second link in description which will lead you to this site right here you just have to download the firmware for ps3 emulator so just press on download ps3 update on this site i have already downloaded this file also now let's continue after you have downloaded both the files okay you can see on my pc right here this is the emulator zip file and then this is the ps3 update.puv file now i'm just going to extract the emulator first okay it has been extracted and you can see the extracted folder right here i'm just going to delete the zip file because we already have the extracted folder let's open this file zip file and then we're going to go down and then we're going to find this rpcs3 application we just can directly launch i'm just going to keep press on create shortcut firstly and then drag the shortcut to the desktop so that it will be easier okay now just launch this shortcut right here click on both boxes that is a tick both the boxes and then press and continue okay now it will give you this window we have already configured the hardware for rpcs3 now we're just going to configure the firmware or software now just go to file and then go to install firmware now go to desktop and then select that ps3 update.pup file Okay, now we're just gonna install the firmware now. Okay, now it's gonna compile the PPU modules. We're just gonna wait because it will take two to three minutes. Okay, guys, the firmware installation has completed and now we're gonna configure the game pad. So just go to pads and it will give you this window to configure the game pad. If you have any other controller or joystick, you can just plug it to your computer and then it will be displayed over here. I don't have any other joystick, so I'm just going to use the keyboard input. And you can see all the PS3 controller buttons have been pre-configured separate buttons from your keyboard. If you want to change any of these values, you just have to click on that button and you can press any button from your keyboard. So I'm just going to keep it as it was because it will be easier. Now. You just have to remember these buttons from your keyboard okay just press on save and then go to file option here and then go to boot game okay we're gonna load the minecraft game where is that yes okay choose this folder and then select on folder okay now it's gonna load the game you can see it's compiling the ppu modules now it's just one time process and it will take some time okay some games might not run on your pc to check the compatibility of the games you just have to go to the rpcs and then go to the compatibility tab right here and then you can see which games are compatible you can see 20 to 110 games are perfectly playable on your pc i mean on the rpcs3 emulator you can see all these games that are marked in green color are perfectly playable okay you can check which games are playable and then try this on your rpcs3 emulator